Hello, good morning. This is uh, Gert Maas from Virtual Affairs. Um, last week uh, I had a meeting where uh, a question popped up which I wasn't able to answer directly. Um, so I'm going to show this now. This is an, uh, a little bit more advanced uh, A-B test scenario. Uh, I just logged into Sitecore um, and I went to the content editor. Um, right here I'm going to navigate to a page uh, which is called career opportunities and I want to do a A-B test on this page. Uh, for this scenario I'm going to duplicate the page. Um, just give it an, uh, a name. Yeah, okay. And uh, just to make sure that this page doesn't pop up in the navigation, uh, I'm going to exclude it from the navigation right here. Uh, click save. So that's uh, I'm now going to, going to close the content editor uh, I've prepared this alternative page so I'm going to the page editor now to prepare the AB test um, I'm going to navigate to the career opportunities page uh, this, is, uh, this is the Jetstream demo environment uh, it's a, a demo environment uh, delivered uh, by Sitecore I'm going to move to, to the career opportunities. Yeah. Okay. And as you can see here, there are different on different levels on this page. I can initiate an A/B test or personalize the content. Um, in this case, I'm going to do an A/B test on on the full uh, on the everything um, between the header and the footer. So. I want to move to the top element, which is a two-column content uh, element here, and create the A-B test here. I'm going to create two variations. I could create three or four or whatever amount I would like. And I'm going to give these two scenarios a name. Uh, the first is the original, and the other is the alternative one. And now I'm going to use that duplicated page. So what I'm going to do is for the original, I'm going to leave the uh, the data source, actually the source of the content, uh, to the page itself. But for the alternative scenario, I'm going to select the alternative page which I just created. So it's going to pull the content uh, for the alternative scenario from the other page. Okay. So now I created the A/B test, but the two pages are identical now and uh, so now I can make uh, customizations here so I'm going to find the presentation details um, which is under the advanced tab just to show you uh, that actually in this case in the, in the presentation details um, is the main layout and the two column content element. Okay, now I'm going to the conditions of the AB test and I'm actually going to make sure I check this box so I can actually change the page design. So I'm going to select the one column content element here. So now I have an A and B test scenario with different layout types. In this case it's so uh, in this case you have a uh, the original variation and the alternative which is the full page width and now I can actually start and make more changes to the page if I would like. So I could add a promotion here. And just an example I could also add uh, well a form component here for example. I'm going to select this flight form and insert it here. So now I made a couple of changes to the original and also something to uh, make changes to the alternative. So now I have two very different uh, looking uh, page layouts. First one is full page width without any additional things and the second one including a promotion and a form at the bottom. So now I could actually start the test give it a name and then after publishing it or 
it will be online. So that actually concludes this uh, demonstration. I hope it answers the question which I uh, received last week. Thanks.